Now, today is October 11th, but uh, October 10th is World Day Against Death Penalty. Now, for two decades, South Korea has not executed uh, anyone. The sentence is largely seen as a practice that goes against human rights principles, but according to our Oh Soo Young, it's undecided whether the law should be scrapped from the country's constitution. It appears most South Koreans would like to see the death penalty system to remain, at least symbolically, until an alternative system is introduced. On Wednesday, a survey conducted by the National Human Rights Commission found 58.9% of South Koreans believe grounds for capital punishment should remain constitutional, but expressed caution on actually enforcing the law. The number is up by 2.2 percentage points compared to the previous survey taken 15 years ago, while the number of those calling for an eventual or immediate scrapping fell by 8 and 5 percentage points respectively. As South Korea hasn't enforced execution since 1997, international observers have classified it as a country that has technically abolished capital punishment. Still, the general public has been hesitant to do away with the law completely. According to the survey, the biggest reason for keeping the system was the perceived increase in brutal crimes, with respondents believing capital punishment could curb outbreaks of crime. At the same time, 70% said the death penalty should be scrapped if there is an alternative punishment system. Experts say the public should consider the actual effect of the current policy to form a concrete stance on the issue. The Justice Ministry's data shows murder figures have been decreasing even after Korea stopped carrying out the death penalty. The figures have fallen to three digits for the past three to four years. There's no case for the system to exist, even symbolically. While lawmakers have been proposing bills every year since 2014 to legally abolish death penalty, such attempts have fallen through, suggesting a lack of public support. Human rights watchers say there should be stronger efforts to inform and guide the public. So we've seen this in France uh, as, as a leading example. In, in 1981, more than 60% of the population themselves were in favour of retention of the death penalty, but the uh, president at the time took the step to abolish it. And then we've seen the population come around. So I think, yeah, education is key, but I think political leadership is also a very crucial element. Only 16 countries had banned the use of death penalty by 1977, but now more than 140 countries have either abolished or stopped practicing the law under basic human rights principles. Wu Siang, Arirang News.